Hey, my name is Johnny Roy, and today we're going to take a look at making stars twinkle in After Effects. Now, I'm a big fan of taking long exposure shots of a starry night and even sometimes compositing them in. But a big challenge is making it feel like footage and not a static image. The main difference between a long exposure shot of the stars and seeing them in real life is that in real life, stars twinkle. So today we're going to take a look at how to make that happen. So I'm going to create a new composition and I'm just going to make mine 3840 by 1600 because I want to use this in a widescreen music video. All right. So here's a long exposure I got of the night sky. It was a pretty clear night. You can almost see the Milky Way there. I'm also going to adjust the scale of this image to fit our composition. Set that to 67%. There we go. So there's the image. You can see the silhouette of the trees here, and I'd say it already looks pretty good. However, if we were just to throw this in a video, it would look like a picture. I also did some processing on this image in Lightroom, but you can also do a basic curves adjustment here. So what we're going to do is isolate the stars in a duplicate layer and map them to what I call a twinkle mat. So let's begin by duplicating our layer. Let's call this one glowing stars. Next, we're going to make a curves adjustment to isolate those stars. We want to crush the image until the background is just black and you can only see the brighter stars. There we go. Now let's create a new black solid and call it Twinkle Map. There we go. Next we'll go over to our effects panel and search for Turbulent Noise. Let's add that to our Twinkle Map. Now I encourage you to experiment with the settings here later in the process. Once you see how this effect works, you'll want to tweak it a lot in the settings here. What I've found to work is the following. Let's set the fractal type to dynamic, increase the contrast to 635, decrease our brightness to negative 3. Let's set our sub influence to 40 and our sub scaling to 50. Finally, we'll need to animate this twinkle map. Let's alt click our evolution setting. You'll see an expression below and we're going to add some math here. Let's add plus time times 2000. And let's play the sequence. All right, so now we have a very fluctuating image. Now, how's that going to turn into our stars twinkling? You will have to wait and see. To bring things together, let's set the glowing stars layer to screen. Go to the track mat setting for the layer and set it to luma mat twinkle map. Basically by itself, we should now see some twinkling stars. However, this is pretty faint. Let's brighten them up. We're going to add a glow effect to the glowing stars layer. I'm going to set the threshold to 80%, radius to 20, intensity to 5. So now we should have much brighter stars. There we go. Let's take a closer look at that. Yeah, that looks good. So now we have a pretty good composition and we could stop here, but there's a couple more things we can do if we really want this shot to look dynamic. First, let's add some camera movement. We're going to want to parent our glowing stars layer to the starry night photo layer. That way any changes we make to one of our layers is going to affect the other. Now on our starry night photo layer, let's go to our anchor point and alt click it. We're going to write down a wiggle expression. Let's write down wiggle and then in parentheses, 1, 25. Now let's find our rotation and also alt-click it and write down wiggle parentheses 1, 0.5. Finally, let's increase the scale so that our layer always fills the frame. There we go. And now we have a nice handheld look. Finally, let's throw a film grain overlay on top of this, and now we have a much more dynamic film-like image rather than something that looks like a photo. So that's my current method for making star scenes look more lively. Now, of course, you can generate twinkling stars from scratch, and I've seen tutorials on how to do that, but I personally think it's more realistic looking if you work with the stars you captured on camera. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya! Yeah.